This is Eugene Panrickwich. I'm the laptop screen doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on a Toshiba NB305 netbook computer. Toshiba NB305 netbook computer. So the tools we're going to need are an X-Acto knife with a sharp pointed tip pair of metal tweezers and a small electronics screwdriver with a pH 0 bit and a larger pH 1 bit. Okay, so in order to replace the screen on this netbook computer, we have to remove the plastic frame around the screen and then remove the screen. The plastic frame is secured by two screws on the bottom and uh, they're hidden by some plastic covers. So the first job is to remove the plastic covers and that's what we use the X-Acto knife for. Okay, so we, they're actually rubbery type, it's a rubbery type material instead of a plastic type material. So. And it's usually not too hard to remove. Okay, go slowly. There we go. All right, and next we use the pH one bit to remove the screws. Let's remove one, and let's remove two. So, okay, and um, you might think there's screws on top behind these covers, but there's not. I've taken them off before, and there's no screws there, so leave those alone. Okay, next what we need to do is remove the plastic frame, and what I like to do is use my fingertips to go from the screen side and gently start prying up until I hear snapping sounds. If I don't hear snapping sounds on one side. I just keep going until I find a place that starts to give, like right here. And just follow that space, place that starts to give. I mean, this plastic frame is paper thin, so try to be careful not to break it. And go slowly around. So this one is a little bit harder than most, but it's doable. Nothing that we can't do. And some piece of paper fell out. So we'll just leave that alone for now. And just keep going slowly and until it comes off and we get rid of this piece of paper. All right, so the plastic frame came off in one piece, safe and sound. So we put that to the side. Next, let's take a look at how the screen is mounted. It's mounted on some metal brackets that are on the sides, and then there's screws that you have to get to on this side, and two screws on the other side. Now this one, the screws are fairly accessible, so we don't have to do any further tricks. So next, we just start removing the screws. One and two. Now keep different sets of screws in separate piles so that you keep track of them for this laptop. For this notebook, it's not so bad, but for some more elaborate ones, there's 20, 30 screws that you have to keep track of. So. It's a good habit to get into. But an even better habit is not to break your screen. But you broke it, you're here, so let's fix it. Okay, and this is where our tweezers come in because I can't quite get this screwed out behind the wires. So we pull it out with some tweezers. All right, the screws are out, and the next step is to remove the screen. What I like to do is carefully start tilting the screen forward 
see if anything's getting in the way. And if not, we're okay. And now we have the screen tilted forward and there's only one connector on the back that we have to worry about. And that's secured by some adhesive tape. So what we want to do is lift up this adhesive tape so we can remove the connector. Once again, this is a little bit trickier, a little bit more difficult than in most cases. So we just take our time and slowly lift it up. Okay, now the tape is lifted up, as you see. And now there's usually some adhesive on the back of the cable. So we carefully lift that up. And once we do that, we can pull the connector out. And what you do with that is just slide it back, like so. And the screen is off. Okay, so let's take a look at this screen. It's a 10.1 inch LED screen, which is a standard screen for 10.1 inch notebooks. The connector is on the bottom left. And the finish on this one is glossy, but it's about half and half on the books. Half the screens are glossy and half are matte. So when you order a replacement, you're probably not going to know what you're going to get. And let's take a look at the part number, model number for this, part number for the screen. Let's get a good focus. There we go. B101AW03. So when you do a Google search, search for B101AW03. All right, and um, that's it. And to, and to put the screen back in, you just reverse the procedure and make sure the screen's in the right place and put it back in. It should be good as new. And um, that's it, and good luck. My name is Eugene Panrickwich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.